Imagine transforming messy data into clean, actionable insights with just a few lines of code or building user interfaces that instantly reflect live updates, all without the headaches of manual loops and confusing logic. That's the power of understanding JavaScript's four most important functions, map, filter, reduce, and for each. In this tutorial, you'll discover how these concise methods act as your Swiss army knife for manipulating, transforming, and analyzing arrays. You'll learn not just what these functions do, but how to wield them for tasks like rendering dynamic lists, filtering search results, aggregating reports, and even managing complex application state. If you've ever struggled with repetitive loops, hard to read code, or bugs from accidental data mutations, mastering these tools will make your code cleaner, faster, and far more maintainable. You'll walk away able to write functional, composable code that's easier to test and scale, skills highly prized in both front-end and back-end development. Don't miss out on future deep dives and hands-on tutorials that keep you at the forefront of modern JavaScript. Subscribe now to unlock the full potential of your coding journey and never fall behind on the latest programming best practices. Imagine an artist working with a palette of colors. Each color represents a unique element, and the artist's brush is the tool for transformation. In JavaScript, the map function serves as that transformative brush for arrays. With map, you take an original set of data, be it numbers, objects, or strings, and systematically create a new set by applying a consistent operation to every item. The original array remains untouched, much like a painter preserving the base canvas while creating variations on a theme. For example, if you have an array of prices in dollars and want to convert them to euros, map lets you multiply each price by the exchange rate, returning a new array of euro values. This is akin to an assembly line where each item passes through a station and emerges transformed but in the same position as before. The power of map lies in its predictability you always get a new array of the same length, with each element having undergone exactly the operation you specified. This makes it ideal for rendering lists of UI components, transforming API data, or performing any operation where the relationship between input and output is one-to-one. -one. Map epitomizes declarative programming, expressing what you want to achieve, not how to iterate through the array. This shift from imperative loops to declarative mapping simplifies reasoning, reduces errors, and leads to more readable code. Consider a sieve used by miners to separate valuable nuggets from gravel. The filter function in JavaScript works much like this sieve for arrays. It allows you to specify a test, a condition that each item must pass to be included in the final selection. The result is a new array containing only those elements that meet the criteria, with the original array preserved intact. For instance, if you have a list of user accounts and want to find only those with active status, filter enables you to express this intention directly and succinctly. Each element is examined independently. If it passes the test, it drops through the sieve into the result. If not, it's left behind. Unlike map, the length of the resulting array can vary depending on how many elements meet your condition. This flexibility is invaluable for search results, dynamic lists, and any scenario where you need to narrow down data sets based on evolving requirements. Filter is inherently composable with other array methods, allowing you to build complex data processing pipelines where only the most relevant data flows through to subsequent transformations. The clarity and expressiveness of filter reduce the cognitive load compared to manual iteration and conditionals, making your code both cleaner and more robust. Let's examine a practical JavaScript implementation that demonstrates the four most important functions, map, filter, reduce, and for each, each as a named function for clarity and reusability. This core file can be imported and tested in a variety of real-world contexts, each function is defined to operate on arrays with pure and side effect free logic, except for for each, which is shown with a controlled side effect, logging. 
This modular approach enables effective unit testing and clear demonstration of the method signatures and expected behaviors. This supporting file provides comprehensive unit tests for each of the core functions presented in the main implementation. Using Jest, every function is tested with representative inputs and expected outputs, ensuring reliability, correctness, and robust handling of typical and edge case scenarios. Each test is designed for clarity and maintainability, enabling quick iteration and confidence during refactoring. This approach encourages test-driven development and reinforces best practices in JavaScript functional programming. The configuration file is essential for establishing the project environment and dependencies. This example shows the package.json configured for a modern JavaScript project using Jest for testing. The script section enables simple test execution, while the dev dependencies ensure that Jest is available in the development environment only, this setup underpins a reliable, reproducible workflow for both learning and production usage, supporting the best practices of automated testing, modular code organization, and maintainable development. The demonstration begins with the application fully loaded and ready for exploration. The focus first shifts to the array prototype dot map section. Here, the user interacts with a clear, step-based interface to visualize how the map function transforms each element of an array. By clicking the Step button repeatedly, the effect of the mapping operation is observed incrementally, with each click applying the mapping logic to the next array element. After stepping through all elements, a brief pause allows for reflection on the transformation process. Next, the process is reset and the Run All button is clicked, instantly applying the map operation to the entire array. The before and after states are evident, illustrating the efficiency of map when used in one go. The demonstration proceeds to the array.prototype.filter section. Using the Step button, each element is individually evaluated against the filter condition, with immediate feedback on whether it passes or is excluded from the result. After completing the full array, a short pause enables a clear view of the filtered output. The session is then reset, and the Run All button is engaged, quickly producing the filtered array in a single action, reinforcing the difference between stepwise evaluation and batch processing. Attention then shifts down to the array.prototype.reduce section. Here, the user steps through the reduction process observing the accumulator as it combines each array element according to the reducer logic. Each click visibly updates the accumulation, building toward the final result. After the reduction is fully demonstrated, the process is reset, and Run All is used to perform the entire reduction at once, making the efficiency and summary aspect of Reduce apparent. Moving on to the each section, the demonstration follows a similar pattern. The Step button is used to show how each array element is visited and how side effects, such as logging or UI updates, might occur. Once all elements have been processed individually, the section is reset and the Run All button is pressed, showcasing the iteration over the array in a seamless, single operation. Next, the demonstration scrolls to the Chaining and Real World Pipelines section, here, a button labeled Show Detailed Steps is clicked to reveal how Map, Filter, and Reduce can be composed in sequence to solve practical problems. The expanded steps visually break down each stage of the pipeline, allowing the user to follow the data transformation journey from start to finish. After examining the sequence, the Hide Steps button is used to collapse the details, returning to the main view. The journey continues to the Common Pitfalls and Best Practices section. The user interacts with a series of buttons, each highlighting a specific pitfall or best practice related to the four core functions. These interactive elements provide concise explanations and visual cues, helping to reinforce correct usage and warn against typical mistakes. Each pitfall or best practice is explored in turn, with sufficient time given for comprehension. The demonstration then scrolls to the section displaying automated test results, 
providing reassurance that all core functions behave as expected under various scenarios and edge cases. Finally, the Advanced Patterns and References section is reached. By expanding the summary, additional code snippets and advanced usage patterns become visible. These examples demonstrate powerful combinations, optimizations, and variations of map, filter, reduce, and for each in real-world applications. After a thorough look at these advanced patterns, the demonstration concludes, having provided a comprehensive and interactive exploration of the four most important JavaScript functions. You've just unlocked the core of modern JavaScript, map, filter, reduce, and for each. These are more than just methods. They're the secret to writing code that's clean, expressive, and ready for anything the web throws at you. By mastering these four functions, you'll spend less time wrestling with for loops and more time actually building features that impress users and employers alike. As you apply these patterns, you'll find your code is easier to read, test, and extend, whether you're powering up your next React project, crunching API data, or building robust backend logic. Ready to level up even faster? Subscribe now to get hands-on examples, pro tips, and deep dives that transform theory into real-world skills, so you can go from learning to leading in your JavaScript journey.